welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all having a great day today i don't have a role play i have a different kind of video today i'm going to be showing you how to swap a barbie head onto a made to move body and also how to make a barbie look pregnant so i hope you enjoy this video if you do please leave a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and without further ado let's get into it so obviously I'm going to be doing the how to make a barbie lip pregnant on Emma and then I'm going to be doing the head swap on Jess because she has a new made to move body. I finally got her one but I'm going to do that second. So first to show you guys how to make a doll lip pregnant, it's relatively straightforward. There are a few different methods that you can use. So this is what Emma currently looks like. You would have seen her in other videos and she's currently on the pregnant midge magnetic bump body and you can get this on ebay because it's vintage so it's not available anymore but this is by far the best option there are also a few other storable options including a pregnant steffi doll which you can find from the entertainer and there is also a tiffany barbie like doll that you can get in b&m but she's kind of a bit flimsy and i wouldn't really recommend that one those are the storable options and now i'm going to show you guys the diy options so this is what I put my pregnant dolls in. I kind of like to put them in leggings and long dresses because that just makes it look realistic. Obviously when you're pregnant, you want to be comfy and wear comfy clothes. And I'll show you guys what the pregnant midge bump looks like very quickly in case you don't know. So guys, I've just put Emma into this bikini so that you can see what the pregnant midge bump looks like in case you haven't seen it. But it's what it looks like, it's really good. The only thing is with it is in order for it to clip on with the magnets that are here, it has the Barbie doll has to be on this body. And this body is obviously quite a few years old, so it's not the most articulated. That's the only downside I think with this doll. But apart from that, this bump works really well and I love how it looks on her. Now let's start the DIY options. So we'll take that off. The first way I like to do it personally is to use fluff. You can get this out of pillows or anything like that or an old teddy bear and just mold it into kind of a circle shape. So it's like a ball and then you can put it onto the Barbie using any type of fabric. The best thing to use is those stockings that you can get. I'll put a picture on the screen of what I'm talking about. They're the best thing to use because then when she lifts her top up, it will look like a bump, but I don't have any of those at the moment so I use just a bandage and then I just make sure that I keep it covered because I don't really use this method anymore but it works so what you want to do is mold it into your bandage and get the shape right one good thing about this method as well is you can make her look at different stages in her pregnancy so that's quite handy and then you can just tie the bandage to the doll so once you've done that it should look something like this you can cut away this excess at the back however i choose not to sometimes because when women are pregnant it's quite normal for them to put on weight around their back so i think if you leave it on there it'll look fine it won't make it look any less realistic now i'll put her in the dress and show you guys what it looks like and here is a side view of what she looks like as you can see it looks quite realistic I've done mine quite big and obviously this dress is a maternity dress anyway which is helpful. The next way is you can use a ball from a gumball machine. Now mine's quite big but as you can see it would work. I don't think this is the most realistic way but it would work. So I'll just put the dress over it and show you guys what this way looks like. So obviously without the bikini it would look better but as you can see it does work. It looks quite realistic, it just looks very big. But yeah. And now the last way I'm going to show you which is DIY is using clay. So I take this clay from B&M Bargains because it's really good and it's really quick drying and it's flexible. So it works really well. It's like air dry clay. So I just take a little packet like this. They come like this, all in different colors. And what you want to do is just basically pull it out the packaging and mold it. And what you just want to do is take the doll and just basically mold it to her body and it will dry. So you'll have a little bump for her and you can use it at any time. So I'm gonna mold this and then I'll get back to you guys. So this is it and this clay is by far my favorite. I've used other types of clay and some of it just feels a little bit too heavy duty and you don't want that because it's difficult to get it off the doll's body. But with this clay, it literally just peels off. So it's great for when you don't want her to be pregnant anymore. And then what you want to do is just pinch inside the middle of it to make her look like she's got a belly button or you can put a little bit more clay on that bit 
just to make it look like her belly button's kind of come out a bit where she's pregnant, you know? And this is what it looks like. Obviously, if you imagine that this was skin tone, I think that would look quite realistic. And obviously, this clay dries within about five or 10 minutes. But I think this is the best way for a DIY bump. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be showing you how to make a Barbie made to move. Obviously, I've got a Barbie made to move body right here. This is the one I chose for her. She's one of the newer ones. And I just thought this one matches Jess's skin tone the best. And I really like her actually. I actually think this one is really pretty as well. This was 16 pounds from the entertainer, which I thought was quite good for a made to move. And then this is obviously the outfit and these are all the different poses you can put her in. So I'll open that off camera in a second. But this is Jess's current body. I get a lot of questions about which body this is and I'm not actually sure. I got it from a second hand shop, but it has articulation just at the elbow and at the wrist. And then at the feet, she only has articulation at the knee. So that's why I thought it would be best to change her over. And also the body inside is actually connected with elastic. So you can see that. So the made to move will be much better. So the way I change the head is actually pretty simple. I take a hot water, which is what I've got here. If you're quite young, make sure you've got an adult to help you with this bit because you don't want to get burnt by the hot water. And I just dunk the head inside like that. And then what this will do is it will just make it a lot easier to release the neck plug because obviously you want to make sure that the neck plug stays intact. And once it's been in the water for about 10 or 15 minutes, it'll be nice and soft and then you can pull it off. Also guys, normally I wouldn't do this in a bowl. I'm only doing it in a bowl because I'm filming, but I'm gonna go and run her under the tap to make it soft. But as you can see, it's becoming easier to squeeze her face. And I am gonna keep this doll, by the way. I'm going to put her on the body that Jess is on now. So as I used quite a lot of light force, it was quite easy to get the head off. And this is what the neck plug looks like. As you can see, it's still fully intact, which is good. And then this is the outfit that the maid to move comes in. So she's wearing this kind of green pur and purple mesh top. I actually really like it and I love how these dolls are ready to work out because I need more workout clothes for my dolls anyway because I don't have many. And also these leggings will be really good for Emma to wear while she's pregnant. And it's all one piece as you can see. The top's one piece and the leggings are one piece which is really good and I really like the outfit as well. It's a shame the made to move doll didn't come with shoes but apart from that I'm really happy with it. So let's put Jess's head on. And as you can see, I got Jess on the body so I can still move her neck fully. The neck plug didn't break, as you can tell. So she can move her head very easily. And I just think this is going to be so much better for videos and everything like that. And that's pretty much how you change a Barbie's head over. So I hope that helped. Like I said, it is a bit potluck sometimes with this. Sometimes they do crack, which is really annoying. It happened to me when I changed Emma's head. But hopefully it won't crack when you guys try and do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and until next time, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.